Hello everyone, I'm Top Shelf Toy and I've been playing a lot of the game Arcade Paradise. I found it really charming and it took me by surprise, so I wanted to share why. This game was first released in August of 2022 by developer Nosebleed Interactive. It's a first-person management sim centered around a subject very near and dear to my heart, arcades. In Arcade Paradise, your character has been sort of forced to run a laundromat. Your dad doesn't see you as responsible and thinks that managing one of his old properties is a good way to get you quote-unquote on track. As you check out your new job, you learn the chores that you need to keep the place running. Customers drop off laundry and containers, you load the washers, and a timer starts. When the timer expires, you need to move the washed clothes into the dryers. This will start another timer. When the clothes are dried, you need to remove them and place them in a designated area. You know, laundry. As you learn about the other daily chores, you find some arcade machines in the back room. Your sister used to manage this place before you. She occasionally checks in with chat messages on your early 90s era PC. She tells you to keep your head up and use this as an opportunity to make some money. When you ask about the old arcade cabinets in the back room, she tells you that she got them back in the day, but never really ran with the idea. Your dad was against it, unsurprisingly. When you notice that those cabinets are full of quarters, you decide that getting newer games and better machines would probably keep the customers around while they wait. That could even end up generating more income than the laundrette. Your sister tells you to buy a couple of new cabinets to fill the available space and to see how much they make. If you could put together some figures, you might be able to convince your dad it's a good idea. At this point, the game stops holding your hand and you begin your journey. You earn money by keeping things tidy and running the laundrette and managing a small but growing arcade out of the back room. You use your banked profits to purchase new game cabinets or things that will help out with your chores, like larger trash bags. When new games are dropped off, you decide where you want them on your floor plan. You can adjust how much they cost per play, and if a game's not doing well, moving it next to a more popular game will increase its daily profits. I mentioned before that I really find this game charming, and part of the reason is that it's games within games for this title. Almost everything you do is a mini-game. You earn more money for doing the task well or in a timely fashion. Even putting money in the safe is a mini-game. Your super dope digital wristwatch is constantly updating you on things that are happening as you play. It'll tell you when laundry needs to be switched, when you have a new email, or when machine hoppers are full. For me, the real magic of Arcade Paradise is the games themselves. Every game in the arcade can be played. It's fantastic. As far as I can tell, each one is an original creation. The development team really did a great job. The games are clearly made from old school classics, but the new tweaks make them feel refreshing and familiar at the same time. There's all kinds of games to purchase and play. You can check out their popularity on the online website, and they're delivered the next day. I also really like that it's not only video games. I spend a fair amount of time on the dartboard or shooting pool. There's even a jukebox. All in all, Arcade Paradise is a solid management sim with a lot of little details that add character and fun. The art style and aesthetics really tie the whole game together. You can practically smell the old carpet. A special thanks to Nosebleed Interactive for this touching story that really reminded me of a time when arcades weren't so few and far between. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. Bye!